Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and today I'm going to show you how to use a stylus and no keyboard in Excel and not feel like you're going through mud trying to write in mud. Okay, so we're going to go here. We're going to zoom in a little bit. We're going to hit the draw tab, and I'm going to use something called the action pen. That's this little green star pen. Okay, so here we're going to put 2, 4, 9, 21. And it did a great job of converting. Okay, so we're going to also write some things. Let's say home, office. Wow. Um, Steve. Okay, that's actually really, really cool. So this is not here by default. So how do you get this? Uh, I also, on the left side, I have a panel of buttons from Tablet Pro. And these are going to let me do a bunch of different things. Okay, Steve, uh, I'm sorry, uh, you're going to have to go. So we're going to hit delete, Tom, delete, office, delete. Oh, let's undo those. Mm, that's weird. Okay, there we go. Everybody's back. We're all happy. So we're going to select, and then we're going to tap and Okay, so now I'm trying to do that, and what that did is I put a little dot. Why did it put a dot? I don't want a dot. I want to select. I want to use the pen to select. How do I do that? Okay, so there's here the selection button. So now I can select with the pen. I'm going to tap shift, and I'm going to select all of those things. I'm going to copy, copy, and let's go over here, and let's paste. Pretty cool. Pretty fast. All right, let's tap right here. I'm going to press the forwardmost button, the invert button on the stylus. Uh, again, this is the R520 Bluetooth stylus, and uh, I recommend this one for note-taking and drawing and everything, and I'll put the link in the description for this. I'm going to press the forward most button here, and this is Cortana. Also really fast, really cool, works quite well. Not perfect, but uh, actually very impressive. Okay, so here you can see a lot of different ways to interact. Um, in order to get that function, you're going to need to go up here to search and type the word Office Insider, choose beta channel, sign up for early access, agree to the everything that's asking you to agree to, click OK. Um, in order to get to the install, actually get it to install, you're going to need to go down here to account and Office Updates, click on Office Updates Update Now. Now there is one additional setting that I think is really useful. So we're going to click on advanced, scroll down, and we're going to select, where are you? Use pen to select and interact with content by default. Let's see what that does. All right, so here, ooh, very nice. Now I want to use the stylus here, the action pen. And let's say 24. My hand drew that, so I'm going to erase that. I'm going to draw a line all the way through that box, all the way through that box. Pretty cool. All right, here we go. My hand is doing that again. I don't want to use my fingers. Let's see right here. Touch. Let's do mouse. Eh, still does the same thing. Okay, we'll have to figure that out in another video. Uh, ooh, I can do multiple at the same time. Let's say one, two. <laughs> I, easily amused. Okay, so here I have the pen here on... I have the button on my pen set to toggle between the action pen and the selection tool. So here I put the pen tip close, and then I can um, write and do whatever I, I, I want to do. And I press the button again. It's going to bring me to the selection, so I can select different things if I want to select them. All right. If this is interesting to you, please put a comment, like the video, and I will do a follow-up video with a step-by-step -step on how to set this up. Um, real quick look. This is the pen tool. I have it set to Cortana. Input mode, configure, click. You just drag this over and drag over here, and it'll map those 
to those locations for you. Just click apply and close. Uh, watch my video on the pen tool, the artist pad over here, or I'm sorry, this is actually side mode. Um, this normally looks like this size. So if you want more buttons, more functions in Excel, this is a good way to do it. Um, let's see. We didn't really go through what those buttons were. Let's just do that quickly. This is text expansion by Keypress OSD. And that's the quick replace manager. So here, if I type in, let's activate the keyboard and I'll do TP space tablet pro um, SIG. And you notice this is expanded out into multiple lines of text. If you do this stuff on a regular basis, this is going to save you a ton of time. Okay, down here, this is screenshot. So if I wanted to actually take a picture of something and input it into one of these fields, I could do that. That is absolutely useless in this situation, but in some situations, that's helpful. Uh, this is shift, so I can select a block. This is copy, paste, backspace. You can switch it to delete. This is going to bring me to my website. Nope, YouTube. If I wanted to select an uh, entire block of text, this is select all. You can do that to select everything here as well. This is a number pad. This is Cortana. Um, the little touch keyboard. The on-screen keyboard with all of the buttons, or OSK. This is enter. You can add tab. This is undo, redo, and right click. Okay. That's it. Uh, I think I covered all my bases. Uh, you will need to restart, um, probably restart your computer for this to work but, uh, in the in the process. It'll update. It will install updates in the background, and then when it's done, it'll it'll show you. It'll give you a little message. Hey, these two programs have been updated uh, into the Beta Insider version of the program that has the action pad. All right, guys, I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please like the video, subscribe, and until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.